Welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. Now, Panerai, formerly of the Italian Navy and since the 1990s of the civilian luxury watch sector, is known for many things, many competencies. They're known for their big form follows function dials, high legibility, their grasp of their history as a combat diver's watch. They're known for their large, bold cases, cushion style cases that typically sit well on any wrist despite the large size. They're known for a kind of uh, carefree attitude unpretentious aesthetic, the Paneristi fans, of course, the zealots of the brand who populate the online chat rooms and forums. One thing Panerai was not known for until relatively recently was watchmaking prowess. Now, the word manufacturer is uttered more and more often these days in connection with watchmakers who build not just the cases, not just the dials, but the movement inside the watch. And until 2005 to 2006, Panerai was not among those watchmakers able to claim manufacturer status. But that all changed with the arrival of the calibers 2002 and 2003. What you're looking at is the Luminor 1950 8 Days GMT PAM 233. Now this watch is special because it was one of the first references to pack the in-house Panerai watchmaking prowess. That is, this is a landmark model from the era when Panerai turned from a styling company and an assembly of, assembler of parts to a watchmaker with manufacture chops. And here's the reason right here. You're looking at the Panerai caliber 2002-1. Now this is a 8-day power reserve with a GMT second time zone with AM-PM indicator, the ability to set the central hours hand, the local hours hand, separate from the reference hand, that's the reference hand right there, that's local hours, pull it out. Now you see I can set this separately as I travel. This is great if you're traveling frequently, if you're traveling for pleasure, for business, if you have friends in faraway time zones, if you have to call business contacts in faraway areas. When you're geographically disparate from an area that's important to you for whatever reason, having a dual time watch is really the ultimate complication. And that competence is something that Panerai brought on board its ship in the middle of the last decade. This watch also has what's called the FANG Power Reserve Indicator. So not only do you have an indicator of the power reserve, and the Paneristi call this horizontal uh, lower dial power reserve indicator, the quote FANG, because the index actually hangs off of it onto the calibrated scale, but you have that power reserve indicator and an 8-day power reserve to back it. 8 days is exceptional. For reference, the industry standard is about a 42-hour power reserve. So with this PAM 233, this Luminor 1950 8 days is appropriately named because of that exceptional autonomy. Now it is a manual wind watch. You turn the watch over, you can see there is no winding rotor here, and the movement's more attractive for it. Now Panerai uses a beautiful straight-grained finish across the bridges, reminiscent of the old military Panerai watches. Now those don't have displaybacks, but when you look inside them, or you look in an old auction catalog or history book, this is how their bridges are finished. Very sober, a little bit austere, but with great attention to detail and traditional craft. This is actually finished better than any Panerai military diver, because it also features nicely beveled bridges. It features a beautiful free sprung true balance bridge anchored at both sides for maximum resistance to shock and when I say free sprung I mean that the, the actual stud attached to the hairspring the little spring that regulates the heartbeat of the watch that can't move if the watch is subjected to shock so there's a lot of jargon but what it means is that this is not only a better looking movement than anything you've seen in historic Panerai's it's also tougher tougher even than the combat dive movements that were used during the 30s, the 40s, and the 50s. So you've got that in-house movement, you've got that dual time zone, quick set central hour functionality for that local time zone. You can travel, you can set it, you can jump back and forth, it'll advance or reverse the date without damaging the watch, and that's a unique feature. Going backwards through a date change will break most watches, not this Panerai. You've got the AM-PM indicator on the small seconds dial with the little AM-PM 24-hour hand right there that actually traces whether it's day or night in that reference time zone. Of course, here's the GMT hand, just in case you've missed it. It's located unobtrusively just below the main hour hands and minute hands. 
Now you can actually overlap one with the other if you want that to disappear and look like a conventional watch. It won't look like a GMT with that third hand. That's a nice little piece of aesthetic engineering by Panerai. Now the watch itself is the classic Panerai Luminor 44mm case, albeit with a twist. It's the 1950 case, not in the 47 millimeter style typically associated with the 1950 case, but you can see from the side it has the complex curves and the contours that define that 1950 shape. It's just a little bit more upscale, it's a little bit more detailing, a little bit more luxurious. It, breaking from that sort of rigid block of the first Panerai Luminors, again, Panerai is a luxury watchmaker now, and this higher degree of case finish and detailing really speaks to that. Of course, the watch contains the famous device protecting the crown, a Panerai original patent right there. You can see how easily I can access the crown to set it. I can push that in. I can wind it. Great. Superb. No futzing with a screw down crown. If your hands are wet, sweaty, if you're wearing gloves, very easy to do. This is a great feature too because unlike a conventional screw down crown, the crown guard brings its own protection for the mechanism itself. And if you are going to jump in a pool, you're not going to miss that. That's your red flag so you don't drown your watch by accident. Screw down crown, not so easy to tell. This watch is great because it actually contains a feature that I like a great deal. Uh, looks like the classic Panerai 24mm rubber strap. It's actually calfskin. So they've created a calfskin strap that looks like the Panerai rubber strap. Now this watch does include the traditional Panerai rubber strap when you want to play hard at the beach or in the pool or in the dirt. And it does include both jeweler's tools for the quick strap swapping and this is one of the best for that because the models that contain these little push tabs for the quick change lugs make it incredibly easy to do do-it-yourself 60 second strap swaps. If you're handy, if you've had a Panerai before, or even if you're just willing to learn, you can swap through three, four, five sets of straps in five minutes. New strap equals new watch, and Panerai fans know that. This watch is beautiful, but it can also be fun. It can be serious. It can be sober. It can be whimsical. It can be anything you want just by strapping, swapping out the straps. It's like its own little subculture among Panaristi, and this is an excellent one because the two straps you get with it are both very appropriate for any situation, black on white metal, always welcome. You can get as crazy as you like, but you've got the basic ingredients along with all factory manuals, boxes, papers, accessories, available from watchyouwant.com. This Luminor 1958 Days PAM 233 is a GMT, features a high degree of in-house content, proves Panerai's competence as a true manufacturer, and it's a landmark model in the history of the combat watch that became a luxury watch, that became a manufacturer watch. I'm Tim. Check out watchyouwant.com for this PAM 233 and our entire collection of luxury pre-owned watches. I'm confident that you'll find the watch you want.